Hi guys, and welcome back to Create Your Life. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this awesome brownie Oreo and chocolate cookie bar. Here's what you're going to want to have to get started. One cup of butter, one cup of granulated sugar, three-fourths of a cup of brown sugar, two large eggs, one tablespoon of pure vanilla extract, two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt, two cups of milk chocolate chips, one package of double stuffed Oreos, and one package of brownie mix. All right, so moving right along here, I'm just measuring out my brown sugar, and then I'm taking my butter and melting it into the half cup container. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is just crack those eggs into your bowl. Make sure you don't get any eggshells in there. <laughs> Next, I'm just gonna whisk those eggs together to make sure they're all mixed with a fork. And I'm just separating my vanilla flavor or vanilla extract, my flour, and of course that baking powder. You gotta have just a little bit of salt and of course those delicious chocolate chips. Don't forget your Oreos. I didn't get double stuff, but it's probably a good idea. And of course your brownie mix. All right, let's start the blondie batter. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is take a large bowl and combine the brown sugar, butter, eggs, and vanilla and blend them. Next, you're gonna combine in the flour and then you're gonna stir in those chocolate chips once you get this smooth mixture. what your final result should look like. Now let's move on to the brownie batter. Each brownie batter will be different because I just used a box mix. Mine just required some water, oil, and eggs, and then I just mixed it together, but you can do whatever method you prefer. Now that you have the two main parts of your bar, you can put everything together. I started off by putting my cookie dough in the bottom of my Pyrex casserole dish, and so I'm just gonna pour that in and then smooth it all out. Once you've laid your blondie mix as the foundation, you're just gonna lay a thin layer of Oreos, uh, filling up as much of the blondie batter as possible. Once you've created your little wall of Oreos, you're just going to want to pour your brownie mixture in until the casserole dish is full enough. I didn't have to use all of it because there also would have overflowed. Now you're just going to want to place it in the oven at 350 degrees for 45 to 55 minutes and enjoy. This stuff is really rich, really tasty, and super delicious, so I hope you guys get a chance to try it out. I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed filming it, don't forget to click that thumbs up and subscribe to be notified when we upload videos every week. If you guys missed the last episode of Create Your Life, you can click the blue bubble or there will be a link in the description box below. And if you missed the last episode of Design Your World with Amelia, there will also be a link in the description box or you can click the pink bubble. Make sure you guys follow us on Pinterest, Instagram, and Amelia's website and I'll talk to you guys next week.